Real quick, I'm gonna interrupt this video introduction to let you know that this is actually my first catch and cook. I didn't decide that I wanted to do a catch and cook until after I finished all the fishing, after I filleted everything. Stay tuned after the fishing part of the video, which is amazing. I can't even remember how many fish I caught. Uh, there was a lot, but we caught my, my personal best redfish. We're gonna cook that up along with some whiting and stay tuned, we're gonna do black and red fish and we're gonna do fried whiting the way I do it, which I don't know anyone else who really does it this way, but it tastes so good. So stay tuned. Hey there, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Kathy Sanders, I'm a surf fishing guide in Northeast Florida, service Flagler Volusia and St. John's counties. So if you are coming to the area or maybe you live in Flagler County or somewhere in, in this area and you wanna learn how to surf fish, I can show you what to do. It's a great way to get some groceries on the table without having to spend a ton of money. Have you seen the prices on fish at the market? It's crazy. Today I'm down here at uh, Cardinal Drive, Ormond Beach. We're right near the shipwreck over here. There's actually a shipwreck not too far away from here. So in the past, it's produced some good fish for us, but I think I see some mullet. I only have a couple hours, so let's see what we can catch. Let's get to fishing. Line here already. I just threw this out literally like 30 seconds ago, maybe. Feels like a good fish. <laughs> it's not a good fish. It's a tiny little thing. What the heck? felt like that felt like so much heavier than it was all right buddy this silver rig though i'm telling you this silver rig we catch so many fish on this silver rig got those for sale in our store just a little guy pictures of the sun and i'm getting a big hit look at that sunrise whoa yeah that something's pulling hard okay this is a, this is not a tiny whiting. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> I can just land it. This is a good fish. It's running. It's like running toward that pole down there. Oh, come on, come on. Out of the wash. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I got a redfish. <laughs> I know. Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at this guy. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay, I'm picking him up. I don't want him suspended by his gills. But, oh my gosh. Look at this beautiful redfish. <laughs> He's on our silver rig with purple clam fish bites and salted shrimp. Oh, look at this. What a beautiful fish. Look at him. Oh my gosh. Okay, we'll get him off. Let's get him off the hook here. Oh, he got himself off. Hey, thanks, dude. Just saved me the trouble. That is an amazing feeling. Second fish of the day, my PB red fish. Okay, I don't think I have a fish on this, but I want to reposition it. I want to get it in a different spot. Because I think it's a little too close. Oh, oh, I had doubles. How did I not know I had doubles? They're so little, what the heck? I'd love to keep some whiting, but I'm not gonna keep them if they're this little. Might keep one for bait. You guys better behave in there. Don't you eat my bait fish. We'll send this little guy back. My line over there is getting hit. Hope it's still on. There we go. I don't like how that one's leaning. I'm gonna have to fix that. But getting hit. Again, on this. Hopefully it's a little bigger whiting or another redfish or something else that's cool. What do we got here? What do we got? Oh, 
we got a pompano. It's definitely short, but it's not a baby. All right, still on our silver rig, though. All right, buddy. Gots to go. Gonna let you grow, whoa, grow up. There he goes. He's already had enough. Be free. Oh, and this one's getting a good hit on it. We tossed this one out kind of close, I think. If I remember right. Oh yeah, this is real close. I've talked to a lot of people lately who have moved down here and they're used to doing freshwater fishing. And what you don't want to do, you don't want to jerk. Oh, there's a bunch of mullet running close. Okay, that's a better whiting. You don't want to jerk and set the line if you're using circle hooks because what you're going to do is you're going to rip a big hole in that fish's mouth and he's just going to get right off. He's going to pop right off. So you just want to lift up, give gentle pressure. All right, all right, dude. All right. Well, all I need is a blue fish and I'll have red, white, and blue. I'm seeing some little tugs on this one. So I just threw that one out, turned my camera off, and then I'm seeing some tugs here. So, oh, that's a good whiting. I'll take it. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a better one. That's even better than the one I just pulled in. Sweet. Okay, we got to get this red fish in the cooler so I got room for the whiting. And this is on the shrimp fish bites. Still on our silver rig. All right, he's a good one. We'll, we'll measure him up here. He's about 11 and a half. Not bad. I've got one line in the water. I need to get more stuff out. Get on this slide. This has been really steady today. Oh, a black drum. Sweet. And we're getting a bunch of species. I think it's because we're so close to this uh, shipwreck. I'm having a hard time keeping lines in the water. I love when they're small like this and they have those stripes are so, uh, so defined. The older they get, their stripes kind of fade. All right, he's gonna go back. That was pretty fun, dude. You made me think you were big. Yes, if you watch my channel at all, I talk to my fish all day long. They never answer me. Here you go, buddy. I'm ready to move this and it's get hit the second I stepped up to it. And my other rod is slack. I might have something there too. Let's see what we got here. This feels like it could be a good fish. In the past, sometimes that meant a baby whiting. But let's see what it is. Let's see what it is. I want to use this wash to pull it in. Come on. It's it's another whiting. It's a pretty good one though. Oh yeah, that's a good whiting. Dude, okay. Don't gotta slap me. Still haven't had a chance to look for a mullet. And it's it's almost 8:30. Oh, I see a bunch of them in the waves. That's a lot of the times I can tell where fish are. I look for the translucent part of the waves because sometimes you can see fish. You'll see long, dark shapes in the translucent part of the wave and you'll know that's where the fish are. That's the distance they're at. Okay, I do have a fish over here. All right, let's get them in. <laughs> here, I'm trying to tell you about how to find fish in the waves and this guy's like, hey, excuse me. I'm on the line here. These are good whiting now. They started out tiny, but they're they're good now. Bringing these puppies home. Looking for sand fleas and this line's getting hit pretty good. All right. Oh, I got, I got doubles. We got a school of pompano going through. I wish they were bigger. Wish they were bigger. I'll grab my rake so nobody steps on it. We'll measure them up just to see. 
what they're at. These are running about eight, eight and a half inches. Big enough or just too small? Oh yeah, they're too small. Yeah. They're about eight and a half inches. It looks like I'd be 12. They gotta be 11 to the fork. Okay. Yep. Good luck. Thank you. All right, buddy, let's get you guys out. Oh yeah, look at all these mullet. Woo! Yeah, there we go. Yeah, there's something on there. It's dinging. It's dinging. It's, it may not be big. There's another short pompano. And he's got a lot of yellow on him. Might be running out of the river. You get to go see your friends. Grow up and get bigger. There he goes, right there. Is he throwing that line back out and this one over here is getting hit? Oh yeah, it's definitely hit. It feels like a good fish. That doesn't mean anything to me, for me. Could just be a whiting. Oh, that's a, that's a, really small redfish. It is a second redfish for the day though. <laughs> that is my second red, whoa, second redfish today. So we'll get, ooh, that is awesome. Woo. All right, buddy. We'll get him measured up. It's definitely too small to keep. Beautiful redfish. He just, oh yeah, he's got some blue on his tail. Look at that. Really, really pretty tail. I love their tails. It's my favorite part of the redfish, I think. So we're gonna revive them a bit. He's a little weak, so I wanna watch and make sure that he's swimming out. Yeah, I see him here. He's kind of drifting, so I should have held on to him a little bit longer to let him get his, his strength back, but too long so we should be okay all right i don't know how long we have with the go fish cam but i let it charge for 45 minutes this has been ready to go for a while i don't have my phone so i'm going to throw this as far as i dare with a light toss i'm not gonna throw it throw it but hoping we can see some good fish I'm rolling it in I can see there's a fish on it I don't know how long it's been there oh it's a crab oh a blue crab that is excellent bait he actually ate that look at he's trying to or or something that hooked him he got hooked We are fishing with crab knuckles. Oh yeah, this is totally loose. You probably saw it getting hit. You're going slack. Well, that's swimming fast. It's probably a pompano. Yeah, we got a pompano. It's still short. Hey buddy. You're just a little too short. A little too short.
there he goes. It's going off. Okay, it's been a while since I've checked the bait on this one. 9.49. Go fish cam has been out about 20 minutes. Oh, oh, whoa. As soon as, whoa, something is running on this. Unless they bit me off. No, it's still on. Oh, it bit me off. Bit me off. It's probably shark. As soon as I, as soon as I lifted it out. Oh, y'all saw that. I'm so glad I turned my camera on. You saw that. I, I'm pretty sure my whole rig is bit off. Goodbye, Sputnik. It's nice knowing you. We'll see where it got bit off. Yep, that is definitely, definitely a shark. Look at that. So there's the top of my rig. This is bit off and the rest of my rig is gone. Wow. This is why the go fish cam is loose because there's a whiting on it. I didn't even know it. Well, tiny little thing. I'll be throwing that back. So I'm rolling in the go fish cam and who knows how long there's been a fish on here, but there's, there's a whiting on here. <laughs> That's a pretty good whiting. Take them home. All right, on the yellow float rig, float hook. Boy, he, he's got the whole float in his mouth, along with the fish bite. He's like really, really hammered that. Look at the hooks right through the bottom of his jaw. They, they really want these floats. Thank you for coming on that fishing adventure with me. So awesome to catch those red fish. I think it's my new favorite fish to catch from the beach. Totally. So we've got red fish and I've got whiting here that honestly, I filleted these several days ago, but I believe what is, I mean, they don't have any fishy, they don't have any fishy smell to them all. So what I did is something that Allison Statner, she's on Facebook under Real Love, and she talks about the importance of keeping the fish dry. She talks about that all the time. So make sure if you're going to fillet your fish and you can't cook it right away, you can totally cook it in a day or two, a couple days, even a couple, several days. This has been um, maybe three or four days, but I put them on paper towels and I kept them dry and that has preserved these fillets to where now I'm, when I'm ready to cook them, I can totally cook them right now. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna blacken the redfish. We're going to do fried fish with the whiting. I love fried whiting, it's so good. We're gonna use this Everglade seasoning, but for me, it's a little too spicy. So what I do is I mix it half and half with Parmesan cheese. If you've never done Parmesan cheese on your fried fish, it's so good. And I've cooked this for friends when we do fish fries and they're, they want me to cook the fish again because <laughs> they love it so much. So what we're gonna do to start with, we're going to get this ready to blacken. So first thing actually I'm gonna do I've got um, cast iron here for the fried fish, and I've just got a regular pan for the, um, for the blackened fish. I'm going to start heating these up because while we're cooking the red fish, this can be getting warm. We can get the fillets ready to fry. So we're going to turn this oil, and I've only got it about this high. And I'm using canola oil because that's what I have, but you can use vegetable oil, whatever type of frying oil you like to use, that's what you should use. Um, but yeah, only got maybe, maybe an inch thickness all over the bottom. And I never used cast iron before until a couple of months ago. And it does make a huge difference in the flavor and in the crispness of the fish when it's frying. So we're also gonna heat this pan up and I want that on about medium high also. So let's get to the redfish. So what I want to do, I love this redfish magic seasoning. I, I'm not a spice person. I can't do really spicy stuff. Somebody could just totally blacken the whole thing with just this. But I'm going to just start it out with some salt and pepper on both sides and then some of the redfish magic seasoning. And I really like cracked pepper rather than just a regular granules. Uh, there's something about cracked black pepper 
And uh, my kids will tell you I'm kind of a kind of a pepper addict, so we'll just leave it there for now. And then I'm gonna put this to where it's pretty well coated, but not like super duper insanely coated. And if you like a lot of spice, if you like it hot, then go ahead, by all means, add more. There's lots of great recipes out there. Whoop, got a little too much on that spot. Don't forget these little nubs. I want it all blackened pretty well. And we're gonna flip these over. And this is that 21 and a half inch red fish ended up being a whole pound of meat. So I don't know if you've priced out fish at the market, you usually can't buy redfish unless you go to like a specialty fish store, but that's not, that's not cheap. A whole pound of redfish is not gonna be cheap. And you can get that right out of the ocean, right off the beach, right now they're running. And uh, I caught two redfish as you saw in the video. Wish the other one was big enough to keep, but it wasn't. I'm so glad we got this one. All right, so we're spreading it, rubbing it in a little bit so it doesn't just fall right, right off. And I did wash my hands right before I started all this, so in case y'all know, wanna know. Okay, so we're gonna let that set for just a little bit. I'm gonna put it to the side over here until that pan is ready to put them in. Then we're gonna just use a little bit of cooking spray in the bottom while we're blackening it. Or butter, we might use butter. Butter might be better, so let me get this off. Okay, now for these whiting fillets. It's not gonna take a ton of seasoning. I might even have some leftover from the last time because it's not chicken. It's not like you can get salmonella from it, so. I just saved the leftover seasoning in the fridge. And we don't have too many fillets here to coat, so. I'm just gonna add, I need this other side. And I just eyeball it. I don't use a recipe for this. I just kinda put however much feels right. And we're gonna break up the pieces of Parmesan that come out and they're just big balls of Parmesan. All right, we got that mixed up. I am gonna take just a little bit of salt and pepper over the top of these on both sides. Not crazy, just enough to give them a little bit of seasoning. And we're also gonna coat these with some egg for, you could actually, if you wanna keep it a lower calorie option, you can use milk just to give it a little bit of um, something before, before dipping it into the mixture so it, it'll hold on better. And I do that with chicken too. If I make them like chicken nuggets or something and I want it healthier, you can actually bake them in the oven. I don't know, that's a different recipe for another day, but it's chicken, so. Okay, let me go get some eggs and we'll come right back. All right, I think we're ready to coat these. I'm gonna add a little bit more Parmesan though. Why? Because I always want more Parmesan. I'm embarrassed, but not at home. I can add as much as I want at home. Who knows that song? Sing it with me. Just kidding. Okay, I'll spare you the singing. We'll get on to filleting these guys and we're gonna keep an eye on that redfish. It's starting to smell really, really good. So for each one of these, I'm gonna take it into the egg a little, uh, little uh, production line here, and then into this seasoning mix. I try not to use the same fingers for the, the egg and the seasoning so they don't get all goofy. And that's it. I'm gonna do that with every one of these. We're gonna coat them up. Okay, in the meantime, it looks like this is ready to flip. Turn this to see what it looks like on the other side. Look at that, beautiful black in color. Really, really nice color. I think part of it is the, uh, the butter that does that. I'm gonna flip that over. I broke a little bit. Get it into that butter again, possible. 
And let's turn the heat down just a little bit because I don't want it to overcook while we're taking care of the whiting. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish the whiting. We're gonna stick it in here in just a minute. And I don't know if we can hear that in the background, but we got a thunderstorm coming from St. Augustine heading this way. We're gonna try to cook. Hopefully we won't get our power going out. Okay, well I turned this oil down because it is starting to smoke a little bit. But we've got our whiting fillets here we're gonna be putting in here. Here's the quickest way to tell if your oil is hot enough. You put it in there and it starts doing that. You know that it's, if it's like, kind of looks like firecrackers when you put it into the oil. Um, it's probably a little hot, so these are gonna cook really quickly. Probably just a few minutes and they will be ready. We, won't, we don't want them to cook too long and to get overdone. Look at how golden they're getting already. Yeah, this is, oil's a little too hot. I'm not usually doing all these different things at once. I'm usually doing one type of cooking or the other. And we're gonna dial that way back. It is quite a bit hot. Don't do this. Don't make it too hot like I did. This redfish, I think, is just about done. It smells amazing. I'm just going to look at this here. It's literally been like 30 seconds. Yeah, we don't want to overcook these. The hotter your oil is, the, the quicker it's going to cook. So, that just a little bit before we turn it. But this smells really good too with that Parmesan cooking. Oh, very tasty. Okay, I'm gonna turn the heat off of this. We'll get a plate. I'm gonna pull this redfish out onto a plate. It's like falling apart, it's so tender. So good. And we go black and red fish, right there. Then I don't like all of this oil when it's coming out, so you guys probably do this too, but just drain it on a paper towel. A nice golden color. You saw that, it was literally like, what, two minutes that that cooked? That's these little thin ones. We don't want those to get overdone. Easy, very easy to do when you have hot oil. All right, we're gonna turn that off. I'm gonna let these cool a bit and then we're gonna do a taste test. And I might even see if I can get my dad to come out and do a taste test. And you'll get to see Piggy too. All right, well now it's pouring out. It's lightning and thunder. You'll probably hear it in the background. But we're gonna taste test this. Couldn't get my dad to come out. Didn't wanna be on the video. We're going to taste test this here. I'm just going to grab a little section here of the tail. That's good. It's crisp around the edges. Nice and meaty on the inside. Not too spicy. There's a little kick to it, but my little kick would be, some of you guys would be like, what? It doesn't have any kick at all. So let's try a little bit of this. We'll inside doesn't look overdone got that parmesan oh yeah that's just that's so good <laughs> I could eat all this fish by myself that the parmesan actually helps it golden up much quicker that's why it started getting golden really quick but man that parmesan gives it such a good flavor so if you haven't tried parmesan in your fish fry mix try it you will not be sorry but anyways, thank you for watching this video. Thank you for staying all the way through this catch and cook. Well, the, the cook part of the catch. The Thank you for watching the cooking part. <laughs> but I appreciate your feedback. If there's other things you want to see me do, other catch and cook type of things you want me to do, let me know. I've got sailfish in my freezer. I was waiting to catch more sailfish so I could do a sailfish catch and cook and my dog just bumped the camera. She's walking around here. Piggy, come here. I'm gonna hold him out forever. Here's my dog. Oh, you're so fat. Here's my fat dog, Piggy. 
but I love her, even though she looks really weird. So, anyways, thanks so much for watching, and as always, tight lines. God bless, and we'll see ya. Look at him, there he goes, I'm following him. He's actually getting himself back out, look at him. <laughs> That's awesome, good job dude.